No. Hello. There you are. are. We here? Oh. Yay. Oh. Are we visible to the people? You aren't, but you it, are. To their ears. Through me. Yeah. You live through me, etc. You are visible. He lives in you. Yeah, that one. I am making coffee, not in honor of Godot, to flex upon Godot. There's a difference. That was, yeah, that was me, but yeah, I know. am I wrong? I'm telling you, I'm telling <laughs> you, not... Rummy, birthday girl, <laughs> birthday person, birthday girl, not... huh? <laughs> birthday person, birthday individual. <laughs> you birthday, you birthday, how are what? you? Oh, this is, this is Australian Rom's birthday. This is Rom's Australian birthday. Tomorrow is Rom's actual birthday. Yes. yes. February 20th. February 20th. It's my birthday. Trust me, I'll be so Whenever annoying. Whenever that... <laughs> You'll know. She'll be saying it a lot. I'll be like, hey, it's Rom's birthday! Read Rom's comic! Vote for Rom's comic in the Sequential Comic Awards! Blah, 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 blah. Oh so, my god, I haven't done that yet. Oh my Someone god! remind me. <laughs> Sarah, I'm this terrible. is your reminder. Sorry. Vote for Rom. I've been so busy with making Romy's birthday gift <laughs> yeah. that I haven't done Romy's birthday gift. That's cute. <laughs> my art is kaputsk, so I'm, I'm relying on money and love. <laughs> Good romance. I, I bought Rom some. Something. Some. 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 So. <laughs> Thank you for the birthday wishes, chat. Yeah. Chip, Blaney, Texture. Thank you. Depending on, uh, yeah, so wh whatever happens tomorrow. I was invited to a 30th birthday party tomorrow and I was like, sorry, I already planned a birthday. And so, alas. It's <laughs> my girlfriend's birthday. I am so sorry. I cannot miss that again. <laughs> again? What do you mean? <laughs> yeah, I'm that's the thing. If Can't it's like, it. again, what? And you're just like, yeah, I know, it's so bad. Oh, right, right. And then... <laughs> this, this, this is how you manipulate people. Yes. And then I am disowned. <laughs> 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 Everyone's like, <"Say>, what? <laughs> and that's how I get out of going to the party. <laughs> Hell <But> yeah. disowned. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Loophole! <laughs> Got him! <sighs> Oh. It's like, what, Sarah? No, no, platonically. I'm speaking platonically, but also, yes, yeah, Sarah. <laughs> <laughs> There's two? Yeah. Hmm. <laughs> <sighs> that would be a fun conversation. Mm. <laughs> After church, Ruby really just drinks her coffee, like, <laughs> oh, fuck yeah. Uh. <laughs> Every day, life continues to be funny. How do I explain that I'm gay with two girls? <laughs> <laughs> but wait, next we'll go into girls. What is that really? <laughs> yes, wait, there's more. <laughs> do you know what an ace is? <laughs> well, have you heard of social constructs? <laughs> let's keep, let's. What? What? Oh my Let's God. deconstruct some social constructs together. Ugh. Ugh. Okay. We're going to grills? Oh my God, are we going to grilled? I love grilled. Grilled burgers? I've been grilled in so long. Maybe so. Anyway, hello everybody. What an awkward conversation to <laughs> well, come in on. Chilling. <laughs> Not awkward. Full of love. Shrimp. I was meant to raise my glass to shrimp. Or the Leon Kennedy. Women. <laughs> <laughs> Women. Women. <laughs> With tearful Women. resentment. Women. <laughs> this one love, I don't really care where it comes from. <laughs> oh no. Nepple! <laughs> God, it's. <laughs> Jeez. I'm right in front of the door, so anytime someone says you bust in, I imagine like this door flying open. <laughs> Uh, You're gonna see someone there someday. <laughs> <laughs> oh, God. Fun times. Anyway, so there's that. Happy early birthday, Rom. Oh, if you would knock first, thank, thank you. you. I wouldn't hear you, and then you'd have to yell at me. <laughs> you knock first, and then you kick down the fucking door. <laughs> yeah. How polite. No, I'm gonna be like, I did, bitch. <laughs> <laughs> like, wow, how rude. Um, 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 I was gonna say something. Oh, yeah, if you haven't voted. If you don't want to, okay, look, if you trust my opinion, <laughs> feel free 
to vote for Rom's comic in the Sequential Comics Awards, is it? I would love to post the link, but I can't use my computer. So if anyone else wants to post I'll, the link, I'm getting it. I'm by all means. It. If you're oh, already you. voting for something else, then okay. But like, hey, if you aren't voting for anybody and you want to vote for someone that you with an awesome to comic, that's amazing. In any other the categories, yeah. If you don't want to, you can just vote Soul to Call by Rom. If you want, I don't know. It's just up to you. You know, I can't force your hand. I'm holding a gun to the back of your head. I can't force your hand, but I just think that you should. <laughs> uh. Have you started planning your victory speech? <laughs> <laughs> Don't be a turd. Don't be a Kaiba about it. We will remain humble. <laughs> Just a third-rate duelist with a fourth-rate deck. <laughs> Rum's a first-rate artist with an amazing comic. Award-winning, no uh, less. Rummy is... yeah. Oh wait, I'm the Joey of this Thank situation. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> okay. <no> Sorry. <laughs> Your fucking girlfriend! <clears throat> yeah. Let Rum flex. I agree! <laughs> uh, I agree! That's good. Rum flex. Come on, move those little noodles. Um, Come on. <laughs> <laughs> they are noodles. Noodles. <laughs> my ew, no. My arms are like noodles too, but like uh, udon noodles, thicker ones. No definition at all, but just like a big soft noodle. Rum's like a tiny little Mine uncooked spaghetti. <laughs> Sorry, your rice noodles. <laughs> rice noodles with fish balls Ooh, in the middle. <laughs> yeah. Powerful. Yeah. Can I like vote for you in every category? I'm only in the I'm only in the best web comics category. So only in the best web comics category says so only. Wrong. Only. <laughs> Flex That's those the only one I applied for. So. <laughs> oh, only the one you tried for best web comic and succeeding. Every day you win, and we bask in your ambience. Okay. Uh, okay. And on speaking of basking okay. in ambience, let's get speaking of aces. Yeah, <laughs> a Capolini. Uh, I don't know what that is. Isn't he a Romy gangster? Isn't in it. Romy isn't in any of my flipping. You know who my favorite colorist is? Romy. Do you know who my favorite letterer <laughs> is? Rowena. Where oh. are these answers? <laughs> what? What are you doing? What? Oh, you're doing the quiz, aren't you? Gosh. We're on the no, gay time. That's the voting vote. Oh, uh, I, gonna... I get it. I, I understand. Just... I've completely zapped out of this conversation. I was just starting <laughs> to think about Godot. But no, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yes, yeah. Trip. We are on we are on gay tugger. Yeah. Oh yeah, we've been calling him we... Tugger, haven't we? That makes yeah. it feel gayer no, somehow. It's... Yeah. Because it is. Because Rum Tom Tugger is the gayest. <laughs> like Unambiguous. We're not talking about cats again. <laughs> We've, we're already through this, okay? It's my birthday! <laughs> okay, Rom, you can talk about cats on your birthday. Cats are both the Nya variety and the Nya variety. That second one is the musical. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Yeah, I, I get you. Yeah. Nya! I just, I just need to watch the music. Maybe we can watch it tomorrow for your B day. <laughs> good. We're good. You're supposed to talk to her. I'm just Remember? I'm just calibrating where I live, bro. Let me gosh. Breathing down my neck. No, like, talk to her. Yesterday we Let's presented his profile so we don't forget what to do. <laughs> yeah, and you immediately forget what to do. I didn't forget, I'm just thinking of other stuff. <laughs> like cats. <laughs> Regrettably, yes. <laughs> Who's he played by in the movie? Jason Derulo? Jason Derulo. <laughs> he does a pretty good job of it, I have to say. Oh, okay. <laughs> Don't start this discourse. No, not now. Not on Rom's birthday. <laughs> not on baby Rom's birthday. Uh, <laughs> oh, yeah, it's Rom's birthday, so no one is allowed to complain if I say that I enjoyed the movie. <laughs> <laughs> I guess that's how it works. It's Rom's like, birthday. I didn't mind the movie either. <laughs> Rom's birthday grants immunity, I guess. Okay. <laughs> Viola. Like the Shakespeare? Um, there you go. Braille, you see? I don't trust that. Huh? Just recently, I died once. Oh, so did. <laughs> so did my We've boyfriend. It's fine. <laughs> did you lose a court case? <sighs> you died. <laughs> yes. yes oh. Maya. That's what you said. No, no, no. Therefore, said Rum gets to choose the arbitrary <laughs> argument of the stream. Oh no, we have an argument. <laughs> oh, blah, blah, blah. Arbitrary argument per stream. Oh. I didn't say hi to everyone. Hi, everyone. 
<gasps> Miss Maurice here. Yeah. Uh, Miss Maurice. Um, months ago. Four Hello, Miss Maurice. Months ago. You know what? We're going to do the hello to the whole chat. You know, Sarah and Romy have to say hello at the same time. We're just going to talk over each other. Okay, ready, set, go. Hi, Archie. Hi, Maury. Hi, Rob. Hi, Shrimp. Hi, oh. Shank. Hi, Percy. <laughs> Hi, Shrimp. Hi, 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 what? Hi Archery, hi Delaney, hi Dragon Linga, hi Have This Dragon two. Linga? Hi, Wizards, hi Lemon Juice, hi Miss Mori, hi Percy, hi Pocket Prawn, hi Shankster, hi Theppled, hi Twitch Details. <laughs> hi Nightbot, hi Romu, hi Sara, hi Myth. There we go. Nice. Well, I just went straight for the jugular. Yeah. Cool. Hello to doctor the ones that aren't in the chat. To abandon all hope. That's a shitty doctor. Why, why do they say it like that? <laughs> well, abandon all hope. <laughs> On the prescription. Oh, gosh. Okay, I guess they were expecting her to take a boat ride across the river Styx. Phoenix plays Hades. <laughs> but, um, Tigre. Tigre? <laughs> Tigre. It's Tigre. 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 Where's the Y? Busters? <laughs> Tigre. 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 It's T-R-E. Yeah. I'm going with Tigre. I don't All care. Alright, Tigre it is. Let's say that he pronounces his name like that too. Yeah, he's an idiot. This he song's pretty like nice. Island. It's like played on uh, electronic pan flutes. Say or a violin. Sorry, Robbie. You gave up everything. Everything? Yes, Maya, that's what she said. Dead?! <laughs> When I found out what was done for me, I was happy. Happy! <laughs> <laughs> no offense, but I'm finding that all a little hard to believe. I decided I'd pay him back my luck by serving him coffee and espresso. Is espresso coffee? Yeah. Godot's Godot gonna so fly through my window like no <laughs> <laughs> oh my god like, did she, yeah did she just make a redundant statement <laughs> i feel like espresso comes under the umbrella of coffee but i feel like every italian in the street is now marching towards my house to tell me i'm wrong <laughs> <laughs> what is that smell in the air is that bolognese oh god they're coming for me that's what's happened here <laughs> but um oh god i'm so hungry i want pasta what was i talking about oh yeah i think espresso is the same thing yeah, I see in this I have I have two espresso shots in my coffee. That's how I say it. I actually have three espresso espresso shots in my coffee. Also, when you make that ugly noise, it's fine. But when I do it Yes. I'm kidding. Sorry. <laughs> it's okay. This is your stream. You're allowed to do whatever you want. Right? I can make whatever <laughs> ugly noise I want. <laughs> Okay, espresso is a type of coffee. Yeah, so see, she doesn't know shit, but I won't tell her that because she'll kill me. <laughs> <laughs> Maybe she just actually likes espresso specifically. Yeah, well, no, yeah, some people do. Some people drink it. Some people drink it like raw. <laughs> Eating raw beans. <laughs> raw sauce. <laughs> no ketchup. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Sorry, and I just did the party rockers. <laughs> anyway, <laughs> I still wonder about what's in her coffee. Death. Gosh. So is that why you got that bandage around your head? No, it's for fashion. I think. <laughs> this? The head bandage. The handage. What's up with that? So what's the story with the bandage? <laughs> Says Nick, tactful <laughs> as ever. <laughs> they put it on after the operation. Somehow I don't... Uh, my operation. <laughs> <laughs> Just a little injury, a little fatal injury. I don't think you understand that word. Injury. <laughs> fatal. <laughs> oh, oh, oh my god. god. <laughs> oh. It had to be doing this on purpose. <laughs> huh? Maya just suffered one herself by the sound of it. Rom, did you even say that? <gasps> Yeah. Did you? She did. Oh, okay, good. I just said it twice in different in different uh, voices oh, so true. I can understand. <laughs> so that's the injury you were talking about before when you said you died once. Oh. You give me deception? 
<sighs> and I've been nothing but kind, kind of to you, kind of. <laughs> De decently, I've I've been decent. <gasps> yeah. Uh, she really creeps me out, Nick. Hi, Frozen. Hi, Frozen. Bro, did you just get Frozen. cold in here? Same here, but we've got to find out the truth. I love the absolute lack of laughter or re-meeting me on my jokes. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, yeah! It froze, froze and I didn't know if Nick actually said that, to be honest with you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Same here. Uh, this seems like something Nick would say. Yes, I... <laughs> okay. Same here, but we've got to find out the truth. All right. The truth. The truth. We've got to find out the truth of the matter, as they would say. The truth of the matter. The truth of the matter. <laughs> the truth of the matter. You can move now. <sighs> oh. No, don't get excited. No. Oh. Oh. There he is, I'll see he's back feeding his pigeons again. Great. Here, take this and this and get out of my park! Like I thought, he's really mad. Come on, Maya, let's just keep your head down and we'll sneak away while we still can. What? Why? Hello, old man! Hi! I like to kill people from the front. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing, Maya? Like she, she's pulling out a neck. Look in my eye. Oh my god. <laughs> Oh, I'm Kudo. I forgot. <laughs> hey, he just turned his back on us. Good. I guess I'll just have to stab him in the back. Aww. I'm not surprised. I better really hurt his pride in court this morning. Oh, little oh, no, he's pop The only thing that should have pride is a lion. Man. <laughs> yeah. Hey, Mr. Kudo. Ha <laughs> ha! <laughs> Pigeon cat. What if he talks Look, like this? We really need to talk to you, all right? <laughs> In with good fortune. Oh, uh, 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 seeds, gel, splinters, tangle. I always knew you were a demon, Maya. <laughs> See? <laughs> oh, yeah. Oh, can I just blitz? Sorry about what happened yes, in court please. earlier today. Car, everyone will be talking about me behind my back now. A dirty old man who was serving. Yep, that's exactly what you were doing. That he can't remember a face, a filthy, depraved animal. Thanks for covering the words for me. No, 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 not at all. Are you listening to me, boy? I don't care what you say. I saw what the waitress put it in. What? I saw that waitress put it in. She put some white powder into the young lad's Java Cheeto. We hear you. And another thing, the young layabout was wearing an earpiece on the same side as the lens of his broken spectacles. Really sorry. So I made a little mistake about the vase. So what? I know what I saw. I tell you, I tell you, I tell you. Okay, okay, okay. Take it easy, please, Mr. Kudo. Kudo. Don't tell me to take it easy, you spiky head brat. Take this. Um, you said you were a craftsman, right? Damn, the modern world on. casts on as craftsmen like me aside in droves. The moon's not gonna fall, you goof. Surely, it's not that. I come from a long line of craftsmen, right back to the time of the show. We have, we've been through this. I didn't become an embroiderer. I was born one. Assigned embroiderer at you birth. You speak about Duncan Romper 2 here. Who's talking about Duncan <laughs> Romper 2? <clears throat> if Leroy were here, this is where the pickle Nagito would pop up. <laughs> oh no, not pickle Nagito. <laughs> no one post the pickle Nagito. Post the pickle. Is it Nagito? I can't even remember his name. I just know that I, I hate him. I don't know anything <laughs> anyone ever talks about at any time. But keep it that way. What's keep an it apple? that way. Love you. <laughs> I'm kind of in the same situation myself. Oh, I, meat bone. I, I wanted to stick my fingers off that dribbling old judge's nose. Oh, God. And scream right down his ear hole. Objection! Oh, so... Did you want to become a lawyer when you were young? I don't think that's quite it, Maya. I think he's just in a bad mood, that's all. Oh! I got a tsunami of frustration inside <laughs> of me and it's ready to burst out! I just dis dissociate whenever Every I see him. Every time you see him, you just <laughs> blank. Yeah. Should we cut in? Oh, I, want I think I'll suck it up and listen to what he has to say. 
Let's kick his ass. Okay. Guess I better let him talk. No. So there's not much call for craftsmen these days then? Of course not, you idiot. I'm all good. All I'm good for nowadays is running errands. He's an Uber driver. Errands? <laughs> it might just be like parroting for this whole thing. He is yes. rocking the tank top, it's true. <laughs> Everyone takes advantage of the elderly. Buy some bread, Grams. Take the dog for a walk, Granddad. Elderly? Granddad? <laughs> oh, Maya. <laughs> Feed the pigeons, old man. What am I, some sort of two-bit community handyman? How rude. Handyman? <laughs> community? Um, well... Buy some bread, well. now that I can understand. But what's the point of feeding some seedy pigeons? Why don't people say what they mean? Get lost? That's what they're trying to say? At least he knows he's not wanted. <laughs> no, now I'm starting to feel bad for him. Ugh. Nah, yeah, I'm just an inconvenience, you see. Oh, wait, no, I forgot about his many crimes. Okay, never mind. I what? Goodness, my chair just broke. Like, but, like, the arm. I wasn't expecting that to break. <laughs> Stop breaking your no, chair! No, I didn't expect the arm to break. I'm trying to show it on camera, but I can't look. <laughs> I was just sitting here. I didn't do anything. Look. You need a new chair, I think. It's, it's falling apart, like, one piece at a time. It's literally crumbling underneath you, I think. I think you need a new chair. Hey, feel free to subscribe so Min can get a chair. <laughs> this new chair fun. I don't even hey, know where this golf came ass. from. You can hear that? What? Huh. It came oh fun. <laughs> what? Oh, oh I flipped over. Okay, hold up. Hold up. Hold up. Be a unicycle next. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, then I'll really be a clown. Okay, well. <laughs> chair fund maybe i could have my first widget on the side that's like for donations <laughs> and then just slowly like is slowly inching off the screen <laughs> with every stream honestly <laughs> this came off anyway yeah this chair is uh going through it poor thing <laughs> oh no oh my god are you gonna get one of those like gamer chairs gamer chair? have, like, <gasps> i want to get the mario one but i think they're made for children so only like one of my legs will fit in it <laughs> <laughs> I'll just be on stream sure like, on, make a, it work. on an angle. I'll just stick two together. <laughs> Alright, I've got it propped against- get, get crafty. Yeah, propped against the back of my seat now. Yeah, Cozy, works. why do you have a gamer chair emote? <laughs> <laughs> Probably was one of- the, maybe it was one of those like handout emotes. Yeah. Uh, yeah. No, what? we will be getting an ergonomic <laughs> chair. <laughs> yeah, okay. Okay. An ergonomic desk chair. Oh, I just realized how heavy I lean on my right arm, which is why this chair is broken. <sighs> yeah, I don't know why so many gamer chairs look like car seats. Anyway. Because they're comfy. Because you're a bamf! Because you use them when you're playing Daytona at the arcade. True gamers have bad backs. It's true. <laughs> <laughs> um, okay, at home, at that restaurant, I just get in the way, don't I? I'm sure you don't. Yes. Nah. Wait a minute, what did he just say? <laughs> at home and at that restaurant. Hold up. By restaurant, are you talking about Trebian? Did you get asked to run an errand there too? Oh. <gasps> what's, the, what's, that, what's all this then? Oh, what's all this then, yeah? Yes, I did, the very day that young brat was poisoned. What? I, it was, you're so unhelpful. It's okay. So on the day of the incident, what were you asked to do? Glad you asked, boy, because I'll tell you what I was asked to do. Ah! Kill a man, apparently. Okay. Evidently. All, all of a sudden, that young lad slumped over the table. The serving girl collapsed. And I broke that vase. It all happened so fast. I was in a bit of a daze, you see. Does it? The owner shouted over That's to me. Big. Does it? Excuse me, oh, excuse me, you call the police, call them yourself. I should have called back, but I didn't think of it at the time. Is that his errand? So, do you end up calling the police? Like I said, I was in a bit of a daze. Did you call them on your cell phone? What's a cell phone? Ah, do it look like I have one of those newfangled thingamajigs? I went out looking for a payphone, of course. Look for a payphone. <laughs> Hey, you, you went looking for one? I'm now noticing how often Maya just parrots what they said. 
back. I think this is a thing that she's just decided to do now. <gasps> or have we just become aware? Uh, wake up. Oh no. No. <laughs> Dream. <laughs> okay. Why are we always at Detroit? <laughs> Not Detroit. Oh, reference. was that Detroit? It oh, it is in Detroit, but that wasn't what I was referencing. Yeah, so that's on you. <laughs> that's on you, Sarah. That's on why you. Why am I always here? <laughs> you know why. <laughs> you know why. Okay, how this much is your love house. Detroit? <laughs> you don't love Detroit. You love nines. You you love I the fandom. I yeah. love G9. I hate yeah. it. <laughs> it's fine. The fandom that has created a whole new entity. <laughs> yeah. You don't love Detroit. Trust me. <laughs> 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 Only Gumshoe is eminently huggable. I just glanced out of the chat, saw that, and I was like, yes. Yeah. Okay. Right. Couldn't find one right away, you know. Speaking Wandered facts. around for five minutes or so. <laughs> for five minutes? <laughs> they, didn't, so... they just didn't have any lines for her, so they just yeah. They just gave her echoes. Echoes. Distressed yeah. echoes. So for five minutes echoes. after the incident, <laughs> incident happened. Yes, sir. The owner was at Trebian on his own. Why didn't you mention that in court this morning? Well, I would have if you'd given me the chance. But oh, you bullied me out of the courtroom. I'm a victim. Uh, am I doing this? Am I imitating Judge? Don't be rude. Yeah, I guess so. Don't be reductionist. Thank you, Mr. Kudos. You've tried to make your kudos for today. <laughs> Get it? Wait a minute. If that's the case, then there's more. I've got more to say. Ah, oh, yes, I remember something else. Oh, he was about to. Bailiff, escort. 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 Walk the crowd with your cobweb. Yep, that's it. <laughs> Nailed it. Thanks. Oh, what's the word? Praise from the master. <laughs> 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 the master of the voice. M. V. No, okay. I was gonna say like an MC joke, but it didn't work. Anyway, it's not my fault. You're the ones to blame. You could have at least told us before we got to court. Dickhead. Is it really that important that Mr. Kudo was the one who called the police? Ugh, I'm, my tits are too big to vent, so. What do you mean? Oh, been there. <laughs> Where did that come from? Oh, the chat. Okay. <laughs> Sorry, out of nowhere, just be like, God, my tits are humongous. Okay. <laughs> I just assume Sarah's not even listening to the stream. Sarah's just sitting there like this going, wow. <laughs> They're just always there, you know? <laughs> They're just always there for me. Oh. <laughs> You're not wrong. <laughs> oh. I know. Do <laughs> we know? What's important is the unaccounted time before the police arrived. So true! Police? <laughs> Shut up! <laughs> the victim was dead and Maggie was unconscious. Which leaves that woman, I mean, that man, alone in the restaurant. I can't tell what the energy of those lines are, so I don't know whether to skip them. <laughs> you know? Because <laughs> I'd skip them if they seem hateful, but I remember Sarah saying that this is like a bad translation of a Japanese thing. I will say that, uh, it will just... The energy is that Armstrong is a gender non-conforming person. Oh, okay. Like freckle. Yeah, that checks out. Yeah. <laughs> Nip slip. Is it? <laughs> I don't know. Is it? <laughs> Does everyone know what I'm referring to? You have to watch no. that, that uh, amazing life of the amazing and wonderful gay oh, life right. of Caleb yeah. Gallo. I like that. That series was. Funny. I want to fill it with color. <laughs> <laughs> you good, man. <laughs> Yeah, no, that's the one, yeah. Uh, anyway, <laughs> that's, that's, yeah. It's, I don't actually remember the show fully, so I don't want to recommend it in case I get there and it's like, oh shit, crimes. But like, you know, I, from what, from memory, it was funny. <laughs> okay, which leaves it. Then again, so was Robin Hood Men in Tights and I watched that again and I was like, holy shit. <laughs> There's a lot going on here. <laughs> so, which leaves that woman, I mean that man alone in the restaurant. Curious. <laughs> Mr. Kudo might have been chased out of the place on purpose. What do you mean? Maybe a certain someone didn't want him in the restaurant. Ah! Oh, sure, you go ahead and say I was in the way as usual. I suppose I should have been getting myself covered in pigeon poop instead, yeah? 
We need to get more details about what exactly happened from Maggie and from Mr. Armstrong. Let's go! Let's get some information. Great. What? No, you're allowed. You can move. It's fine. You can move. It's fine. I'm allowed. I'm always allowed. I can do it well. Hey, I forgot about you. He's so good. Talk to him? No. He's got a psych lock. Yeah, I think you can do that now. Let's give it a go. Let's give it a gyoza. What are you, a dumpling? Because I'm about to give it a gyoza. <laughs> Uh, I'm hungry. <laughs> <laughs> just, this is just how it's gonna be. Huh? <laughs> Rom, can we go out for lunch on your birthday? <laughs> you can go oh. and eat. If you can eat on my birthday, I'll allow it. <laughs> <laughs> we'll all go to separate restaurants in our like in our subsequent subsequent <laughs> area, and have and be on voice chat and eat at the same time. It'll be just like having lunch together. I would absolutely do that. I'm not gonna. I'm not I gonna can't run. drive, so I would can't be bothered. I would just eat at home. I mean, we could do that. Yeah. <laughs> we could also do that. Yes. yes. <laughs> the radio. Or the letio, if you're in Samoa. Okay, Detective Gumshoe, tell me the truth. What were you listening to? No way, pal. Now that you made a big thing out of it, I'm not gonna tell you. We'll see about that, pal. <laughs> Considering all the noise you were making while you were listening. It's pretty clear what kind of radio program it was. I'd say it was related to giddy up, giddy up, giddy up, it's a horse! Oh, it's a lottery. I think it was lottery. It's been like five hours, so I don't remember. <laughs> <laughs> Libra! Send Nagito Pickle out of context. Hi, Libra. Yes, <laughs> send, send the Pickle Boy. No, you can't request the Pickle Boy because you get distressed by the Pickle Boy. Don't walk into know, situations that cause you distress. You I've deserve had goodness. dreams about Nagito. As a I hate it. Oh. No, just in general. I got remember that one the other weird day. dream I had about Declan and a guy. Oh, the that guy was, Nagito? was Nagito. Oh, murderer. Yeah, that was Nagito. Nagito, Nagito murderer. Yeah. Oh, don't spoil Dungan Romper for people. What if Dungan? Sheesh. Shh. Oh, so isn't everyone in Dungan Romper a murderer? <laughs> I'm so surprised. I don't know what Dungan Romper is. All I know is people bleed. It's pink, a murder game. And there's a Biakia, and that's it. That's all I know. There are two Biakias. What? 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 I'm right, aren't I? Shh. I'm right, aren't I? Dangly grandpas. You were listening to lottery result or, 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 or results, weren't you? You thought you'd try to win big. Just like Gunly Lil Hook did. Yeah. <laughs> it's a. Uh... Oh, please. I thought it's like you can see right through me. Aww. Ace Attorney is way more sad than Dangan Grandpa's. Let's not start this, hey? Ah, <laughs> oh, Shakespeare! Look! <laughs> oh, thanks, thanks. Oh, oh, no, Shay. Rex was here! Hi, Rex! I didn't even see Rex until you got a gift. That's so Shakespeare! Wow. Shakespeare sees you without a fish dog and is like, can't have that, and does the little Midas touch and gives you a <laughs> subscription, and it's amazing. <laughs> Thank you. Not allowed. I just touch. Yeah. Bing! Everything, Everything I touch. fish. <laughs> that happens in the Bible. <laughs> Don't. <laughs> yeah. Wait, what? <laughs> no, no, it doesn't technically happen in the I'm joking. It was a joke. Probably. Did Jesus turned someone into a fish. No! <laughs> <laughs> I don't no. think so, but he could if he wanted. No, I'm kidding. I, well, I don't know, actually. Can you tell <laughs> I've, I'm not religious? I, yes, sir. <laughs> oh, you were raised with yeah, two different religions and would... managed to avoid both. <laughs> um, I was an atheist from a young age. No. <laughs> anyway, um, fish dog law. Fish dog is actually... I designed fish dog over lunch once at a Vietnamese restaurant. I was eating. Uh, this is nothing to do with the fish dog. I'm just hungry. <laughs> uh, I was like, "What was I eating?" Pho. Oh god, I wish I was eating pho. Alas, I'm allergic. What? Ha. Um. I, well, no. What was I talking about? What was I talking fish about? Dog. Oh yeah. Okay. No, I was fish designing dog. fish dog. Fish dog is a mix of my first two pets, or three pets technically, because it has. A, a, a dog head, <laughs> a goldfish body, and a, a betta fish tail and fins. Yeah. 
Yeah. It's all in there. It's all that. So my first pets. That's cute. <laughs> so it's adorable. Represents the channel. Cause I don't know. I love fish. I love dog, and it flies. <laughs> Cause I also love bird. It's... I want a bird. <laughs> Everything. Mm-hmm. <laughs> huh? I've cracked them already. See, pal. That's why I said it was nothing. You're so earnest and good, and your chest is heaving. <laughs> Meat is huge. <laughs> Meat being the titties. Yeah, 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 of course. Yeah. <laughs> Duh. Just, <laughs> the breast meat, as it were. <laughs> oh my god, I want Bonnie. Give it to me! Are you also hungry? <laughs> I just woke up! Do you eat, <laughs> Denver? No? My uh, coffee is my breakfast. Actually, I had breakfast and I'm a little bit full. I'm usually pretty lucky, so I figured I'd give it a try. What's with everyone in the lottery? So, how did it go? I won 50 cents. Oh! oh. <laughs> I want a delete this <laughs> message. I just read that and I was like, shit! And then, um, yeah. I, I, I feel... I'm stressed. <laughs> you might want to might want to give that a little quick a quick catural X. Yeah. <laughs> and yes, Percy banned. Okay, uh... Percy banned. <laughs> Percy is out of here. <laughs> you pure comment, my ass. All right. <laughs> pure comment, my cock. You did. Sarah, relax. <laughs> I'm sorry. You have to skirt around it, okay? I won skirt. 50 cents! I won 50 cents, bro! It'd be better to... <sighs> It'd be better to win nothing at all than a lousy half buck! I was so mad! Yeah, I know the feeling. I bought the same kind of ticket as Mr. Elg, see? And they've got this special radio show where they announce the winning numbers. <laughs> They even do the drawings live on the air. It's intense, pal. I bet that's what Mr. Elg was listening to on the day he was killed. Probs. Yeah. What time is it now? Uh, it's, uh, it's just after 1.30. And the lottery results are always broadcast at the same time? Uh, yeah, look, I got the flyer when I bought the ticket. Experience the most thrilling 10 minutes of your life every Monday at 1.30 p.m. I'm, I should screenshot oh, that. <laughs> Millionaire radio. That sounds cool. Mm. I should screenshot that, and every time I do a stream, I can be like, experience something of your life at blank. Yeah? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. I won't, but I should. <laughs> I want to try it, Nick. Maya knows. Buy a ticket, Maya, with your own money. Well, I'm going to head back to the precinct now. All right. Champion. Oh. We got a big meeting starting in a bit. Starting in a bit? Uh, about Maggie's case, you mean? No, that's pretty much wrapped up now. There's another big case going down at the moment, and she's pushed aside, so... Fuck her, I guess. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Well, see you later, then. Bye! Look, if I didn't see it, then we're not gonna talk about it, are we? Huh? <laughs> would I miss one? What did I miss? You know what? I don't. I don't know. I don't care. I'm so curious. What did I miss? <laughs> Wait, what did we miss? <laughs> no, no, I'm curious. What did we miss? <laughs> I don't know. The, ch the chat chatting. That's the I'm problem with all major. three mods being on stream. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> if you're here, and I'm here, and Ram's here, then who's modding the chat? And the chat. <laughs> who's driving the stream? Oh no. Me, I guess. Can't drive. <laughs> yeah. All right. <laughs> well, we're crashing. <laughs> uh. uh... You better get going, detective, or you'll be late. 
actually, I, uh... Oh. I kind of got a favor to ask. It's a big one. A favor? It's, uh, it's for Maggie, actually. I was kind of hoping you'd give this to her for me. Aww. Sorry, my my uncle's just popping in. Oh, the, the dog is is gumshoe. It's just gumshoe energy. He just has like excited dog energy. Yes, that's fair. <laughs> what is it? <laughs> buff, buff, buff. Wow. Me the other night. <laughs> Me when I eat oyster sauce. Oh, okay. Evidently. Oh. I misread that as showing ass port. <laughs> <laughs> Mine sees what it wants to see. <laughs> no, it doesn't. Mine sees what I am condemned with. Okay, carry on, Maya. Yeah, that's why I think that Nagi too. Ugh, a pickle. What is it? What? No, Rom say it. He said it already. Oh, did you? Okay. It's a lunchbox. I got up early so I could make it. It's just canned sausages, isn't it? I've been real worried about her. She looks like she lost a lot of weight. Oh, he can't give them to you. What's a good one? <laughs> How many weenies are in here? It's a weenie. Oh. There's not a person on earth who could down this much meat. I think I've eaten a kind, like a whole like Challenge can accepted. of weenies before. I'm pretty sure I could eat that many weenies. Yeah, same. <laughs> Raise your hand if you can eat that many it's weenies. Like... <laughs> up i got two tits up <laughs> you think I, love them. I can't get enough of their tender juiciness so will you give it to her it took me ages to make so please say you will pal is she in jail i don't know how to cook rice oh we'll cook rice it's okay i'll cook rice for you i'm saying gums you can't oh oh no oh. Like that's why it took him so long to make Aww. rice and, and sausages. Aww. The first time I made I tried to make rice, I set it on fire. So <laughs> How? How? I didn't I didn't put enough water, so Oh. And then I just walked away. <laughs> when I came back it was on fire. Get, uh, if this you, seems fine. If you can't cook, just get a rice cooker. It'll do it for you. Sarah, I know you have basmati, that... so it's a bit different, but like if you yeah. if you like he's soft fluffy medium rich grain, enough. he's not rich enough. Aww. Yeah, he can't afford it. Oh. Yeah, well, then he will be fine. Honestly, the the money he loses from all the rice he wastes, he'll make it back if he just if he just bought a rice cooker, a cheap one, fifteen dollars breaks every time you use it. <laughs> <laughs> I love my rice cooker. <sighs> it's dying though. Like, will you take it, pal? Is she in jail? Because I don't think we'll be able to just pass that through the window. You microwave rice? Oh my god, Percy's banned again. Oh wow, well, yeah. <laughs> I have no Percy's opinions about this. I'm just guy. doing this for the melodrama. <laughs> Can't exactly say no, can I? Do whatever works. Is there such thing as rice milk? Yeah. Don't you drink it? Oh wait, no, you have oat milk. <laughs> Shanks to the oat milky in. Shanks is like <laughs> perfectly parallel with oat milk in my life from now. Every time I see oat milk, I'm gonna be like, Shanks the breakfast, lunch and dinner, presumably. <laughs> That's what we put in Shanks' cat boy bowl. <laughs> uh, gumshoes lunchbox given to Maya to carry. Nick, do something for once. God. Maybe I'll eat it myself if I get hungry. Oh, Maya. Uh, don't forget, okay, I'm counting on you to give it to Maggie. I wonder if there's like a note inside. A key. <laughs> He's finally got a gun. <laughs> He's chucked a Glock in it, but he <laughs> forgot. <laughs> he forgot. Oh, this song. <laughs> Have you ever had a fried onion? Just curious. Like a whole fried onion? I've had fried onion like caramelized onion on a sausage sizzle kind of thing. Yeah. <laughs> Distressingly Australian sentence. Not... What's that, I've right? I've had an onion that is, like, whole and fried. Yeah, I don't I've think of... baked onions. Deep fat like fried. Like, just a whole oh. onion baked. No, I haven't had that. Remember Tony Abbott? 
idiot. <laughs> yeah. Uh, fuck they, Tony Abbott. Please look. Fuck Tony Abbott. Uh, please look up uh, Tony Abbott onion meme. One of our former prime ministers once got was handed an onion and ate it. Did he eat it with the skin on? He just went out. And like yeah, everyone was like, what? Was it, like, <laughs> it was fucking <laughs> like an apple. Apple or some yeah. shit. Yeah. And then because he was he was awful as well. Like he's just a big piece of shit all the time. Freak. Yeah, he was handed the onion, bit it, and then everyone when he was like <laughs> on his way out of office <laughs> would like put onions on their doorsteps for Tony Abbott. He's an asshole. He deserves the worst. He got punched in the face once by a DJ, didn't he? <laughs> an anarchist DJ. An anarchist that's DJ. The same one. Yeah, that's the same one. Tony Abbott's just a mess and Australian government is embarrassing, but sometimes it's funny. Or at least. What was his name? <laughs> at least there's that. That legend, that hero, he had a name really MC freaking face smasher. Oh, doesn't Australia have a P yes? <laughs> okay, he went swimming, he disappeared, and then they named a pool after him. <laughs> so mean. He's out there somewhere. <laughs> no, the no, I'm pretty sure they found him. It's a sad story. Like, every Australian story is like, and then they died, and we made a joke about it. Or in this case, and he died, yeah. and we named a pool after him. Come on, he drowned. I <laughs> am getting that impression. Yeah. Uh, think of it. Wait, you would love that. Oh, list. the DJ Astro Lab. <laughs> um, his DJ name is Astro Lab. Oh. He got six months in jail for headbutting the prime minister. Yes. Oh, he went to jail. Oh. Yeah. Whoops. It's Was he like he wasn't the you prime? Know, it's technically a crime. Oh, what? But not in my books. <laughs> yeah. Wait. Did Good he for him. <laughs> was the man who headbutted former Prime Minister Tony Abbott has declared it was nothing to do with same-sex marriage, but it was a lifelong ambition to headbutt a fascist. <laughs> <laughs> oh, this was around the time. Astros. This was around yeah, the time. This around the um, when they were, were doing the uh, whether to legalize gay marriage. So that was he was adamantly against it, and that's uh, he got punched in that same week as the votes when uh, the conservatives. Air quotes, conservatives were rising up against the gays. But yeah. Astrolab, <laughs> a 38-year-old DJ, barista, and anarchist <laughs> from North Hobart. <laughs> That's a lot. Oh my god. Yeah. Yeah, look, we have a lot of appalling politicians, <laughs> so the moral of this story is headbutt them when you get the chance. <laughs> <laughs> Don't it wait. Wait, I have to I have to read this quote. What? It was a lifelong ambition to headbutt a fascist. Yeah. Because I am a skinhead that likes ska music and hates fascism. <laughs> fascism. He's an evil cunt. I'm a anarchist <laughs> and I believe in human rights. <laughs> That's the most Australian sentence. Oh my gosh. Okay. <laughs> I had butted him quite piss poorly because I was quite pissed <laughs> and I was really fucking embarrassed by that. <laughs> so, <laughs> wasn't it like in the afternoon? Why was he pissed already? A Australia. <laughs> oh. He's an anarchist, man. <laughs> <laughs> what is time to an anarchist? Oh, anyway, thank you to DJ. What's his name? Astrolab? Astrolab? Astrolab. <laughs> Oh, every day I wish I were like you. <laughs> I'll strive to be. Oh, yeah. and if y'all ever want to, you want a feel good story, uh, like a teenager oh, egg. uh, egged one of our, yeah. <laughs> uh, one of our politicians. Who did he egg then, again? You know, the people. What? Who did he egg? Oh, I can't remember. I remember Egg Boy, I but remember. I don't remember who he egged. Yeah, because no one gives a shit. Um, yeah, he egged a guy a senator and he got beaten by the people there he yeah. literally had the, the let's not go into too much detail this may be upsetting yeah anyway mm -hmm. yeah. and then he raised like millions of dollars for charity yeah that was cool being egg yeah. lad good lad yeah good lad good, good lad, lad. <laughs> yeah, yay yeah he... Australia is chaotic it is <laughs> <laughs> and our current prime minister is a prick so if you see him headbutt that guy Squish that a face. Favor, yeah. Apparently. <laughs> oh, Mr. Wright. I don't remember what her voice is. <laughs> Anything it wants to be. Hello, Maggie. So they finished questioning you? Wasn't it unbelievable in court today, sir? 
I'm going to stay up all night and talk about everything that- Do you have a computer in jail? <laughs> She's writing it in her mind. Weren't you scared? It was pretty touch and go in there. Yeah, but you totally nailed that old man. Well, he was all over the place with his testimony. He's not the only one. Mm. Huh? What do you mean? Everyone else's testimonies don't match up either. <laughs> that was what I remember of the incident anyway. I haven't seen that, no, Frozen. Is it possible she is the one misremembering things? Well, she was unconscious, so maybe. <laughs> Contradictions! <laughs> Maggie, you know how you said what that everyone else provided testimony that doesn't match up with what you remember? Yep, there's just so many things that don't seem to add up. That's hilarious, Phantom. Phantom Mark 5. <laughs> yep. Phantom. The biggest contradiction is the other guy I saw at the victim's table. Da -da 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 -da. Oh my god, I haven't played Phantom on the Opera on my automaton. Carry on. He was the one who slipped something into the victim's coffee. I'm sure it was him. <laughs> Mr. Kudo didn't test Kudo didn't testify earlier today. That it was the waitress who put some what? I didn't read that correctly, did I? It was Mr. Kudo who testified today that it was the waitress who put some white powder in a cup of coffee? Yeah, cup of coffee. I can't wait to get to the trial, I'm so excited. No more side, no more side <laughs> notes. So you really think it was this disappearing man that did it? Well, he's not the only thing that disappeared. The CD vanished as well. I got it. It's right here in my pocket. You know, the CD with the writing on it? Oh, uh, yeah, the MC Screwdriver <laughs> album, right? <laughs> screwdriver. It was MC Bomber, Maya. That name was scrolled on the sports paper as well. <clears throat> they never did find that CD at the crime scene, sir. Or the victim's medication. That's gone missing, too. Ouch, my head. This is getting way too complicated for me. Me? Me. You said that you Me. passed out when the victim Glenn Elg collapsed, right? Yes, it's so embarrassing. I mean, I used to be a cop. <laughs> when I came to, the restaurant was buzzing with police. Before I knew what was going on, they arrested me, sir. <laughs> so between the time the victim collapsed and the time the police arrived on the scene, you have no idea what went on at Trebian. Uh, no, no idea at all. Why is it important, Mr. Wright? The other witness, the old man from the park, was pretty much chased out of the picture. Chased out of the picture? What do you mean? Old CD wasn't inside the restaurant because he was told to go call the police. Exactly, and you, Maggie, were unconscious. That means Mr. Armstrong was alone in the restaurant for a brief period of time. No. You, you don't think Mr. Armstrong set me up, do you? When you consider the facts, it's hard to imagine that Mr. Armstrong isn't involved in this at all. Ugh. It's like the master biting the paw of the dog that it feeds. Are you sure about this, Mr. Wright? Well, the old man said as much when we spoke with him earlier. I don't know. The things that man says don't add up for some reason, sir. Maggie looks like she's trying to figure something out. Let's give her some weenies. Yeah. This will help you think. Maybe we should ask Maggie exactly what she knows about old CD. <laughs> uh, don't bring up Godot at a time like this. I haven't seen him for a while. <laughs> oh, did I not press present? Nope! Don't tell me what to do! I can hear you about to tell Mim something. <laughs> Oh no, I was getting confused. Ah. ah, I feel much better after this morning's trial. I've been a bit of a courtroom proceedings addict for years now. It feels like forever since I saw a witness as slippery as that old man. Bye, Miss Mori! Thank you for joining! Bye! Bye. Bye. 
He's not. Oh. <laughs> He's not really that bad of an old <clears throat> man, though. Still, I feel a bit uneasy. Huh? I thought you just said you felt much better. Maggie, if there's something on your mind, you've got to tell us. Especially if it has anything to do with Mr. Kudo or his testimony. Roger, I'll spill it all and tell you, see what you make of it. Take this testimony! Is there anything about Mr. Kudo's testimony that stood out as odd to you? Actually, yes. What is it? The fact that he was even testifying to begin with doesn't quite... Doesn't quite what? Well, when I took the coffee over to the victim's table... It's true there's another customer in the restaurant. Yeah, we know that already. It was Victor Kudo, or was it? But I can't really say it was an old man. <laughs> okay then, how about calling him a really old middle-aged man? No, age wasn't the issue. The other customer was a girl. Oh. A woman. A woman. <laughs> women. <laughs> Ugh, women. <laughs> Are you sure, Maggie? Are you women? sure about that? <laughs> well, I'm not 100% sure, but I think so. So, what did this woman look like? She have an aura around her of murder and coffee death? Huh? Um, she's sort of creepy. And she has kind of a cackling laugh. Creepy. Cackling? <laughs> a laugh? <laughs> Bless you. I'm back! Okay, sorry. <laughs> Why do we get the feeling that I've come across a woman like that recently? Ugh. <laughs> Every time I sneeze, I feel like my organs are rearranged. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Just so powerful. Okay. How about this woman? Was it Everything. her? Everything inside you bounces and you <laughs> orient itself. And then another chair wheel breaks, presumably. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I never used to be on the police force, sir. Well, I'm incarcerated now, so I can't use my connections to help you. All I can tell you now is about info about ex-cons or the clientele of Trey Pien, sir. Ah, Don't let it get you down, Maggie. <laughs> I'm gonna sneeze again. Oh, okay, that wasn't relevant at all. Alright, cool bananas. Give uh, me the weenies! Don't tell me what to do! going to you know what you know the dishes law you know the rule of the dishes no if you if you're already planning to do the dishes and someone tells you to do the dishes and then you don't want to do the dishes anymore i get that with everything <laughs> but you were moving away i'm just i just move you know how you highlight text when you read it i just wiggle around sometimes i just wiggle let me wiggle <laughs> like a wee just a little bit oh god i haven't heard this song in ages Yes. A tenderly handmade lunchbox. Fills the stomach with love and plenty of weenies. <laughs> Alright. Oh yeah, I've got something you're gonna love. Really? What is it? Uh, a lunchbox just for you. Here! Nick plosses it against the frickin' <laughs> glass. He would. Wow, a lunchbox. Weenies too. I can't believe it. Thank you, sir. Did you make this uh -uh. just for me, Mr. Wright? No, 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 no. Okay, good. Whew. He would kill me. No, it was Detective Gumshoe. Who else would make you such a nice lunchbox? Oh. Detective Gumshoe? He's really worried about you. Looks like he put a lot of effort into making this, too. Uh-oh. Oh. oh. I can't accept it. Detention center rules. No gifts allowed, sir. Yeah, that makes sense. Hey, come on, Maggie. Don't be like that, upholding the law and stuff. The rules are the rules. They'll lock you up if you break them. Somehow, when an ex-cop turned waitress says that, it seems a whole lot scarier. Anyway. 
as you relax. <laughs> oh! Hi, hey, please! Uh, oh, really? Uh, saying that is not only like, uh -huh, I see what you're getting at, but also it seems like a choking hazard. And I mean that in a very non-innuendo way. You know when Homer Simpson like is uh, eating popcorn by like sucking it up from the bowl and then he chokes and then keeps eating? That's what I imagine. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I imagine, I'm sh I imagine, um, you know, the scene where he's like, what are their names? Carl and Leonard? Lenny. They're like Leonard? watching him eat. And is it Leonard? Um, they're like, it's, he doesn't even chew. He just swallows it like a duck. And then it cuts to Homer and he's like, <laughs> yeah. eating a, I think it's an eclair. And he just like, oh, 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 oh. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, and yeah, yeah. It's awful. Yeah, I guess that's what, yeah, that's how Gumshoe has his lunch. It's Edgeworth observing Gumshoe. <laughs> he, yeah. wish he, he wish he didn't. Yeah. <laughs> it's all yours, my. You can enjoy it with Mr. Right. But. She's right. It's better than letting it go to waste. <laughs> Nick's like, I would like some weenies. <laughs> but. I guess so. Gumshoe's lunchbox <laughs> eaten with Maya. <laughs> At the window? <laughs> Just in front of her, too. Um, just them sitting, like, apologetically eating all of the lunch that was made for her. Oh, my God. <laughs> well, how was it? Guilt eating weenies. That hit the spot. I love weenies. <laughs> oh, good. I'm glad you gave it to you then, sir. Oh. <laughs> we ate it. Again. Oh. Yeah, we ate it. <laughs> Again. Again. Phoenix. Uh, can I go now? Yeah, detect detective ah! place. Yeah. You don't need to tell me where to go. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I'm so sorry. No. Who will mod my mods? Huh? Rom. I don't know. Someone just sorry. come and slap me in the face. <laughs> go on, Rom. Do it. Yeah. Take one for the team, Rom. Smack me in the face. Raise that spaghetti yeah. arm high. Happy birthday. <laughs> you're, you're you're too far away. Oh, that's even sadder. Once. The main oh, yeah. server just went up in smoke. Why the heck isn't West Garfield set up here yet? The superintendent's here already. Yeah, there's our problem with the internet too. I already told you to stop using your computer, Chase. But I'm watching videos online as I'm catching up on my. <laughs> That seems rude. Catching up with my let's let let's say I'm going to give him something Korean. more specific. No, I'm going to say Filipino. Filipino soap operas. They're huge um. in Samoa for some reason. I don't know. We must have like a connection there. But like every Samoan I know from back home knows a lot about Filipino soap operas. So there we go. It's gonna have to Ooh. wait, Chief. I'm throwing the switch. No. Oh, okay. I I I, I miss I miss cultured. Miss Cultured? Whatever. Just when some young guy, I get it, <laughs> was about to confess to his son's hot to ch tr yuck. <laughs> wow, this place is really buzzing. Oh my god, Percy's starting. Making their way downtown. Walking fast. <laughs> Hands gonna bust through Sarah's window. <laughs> Percy, <laughs> you no, punch no. yourself, you weenie bastard. Okay. <laughs> All right, something must be going down. Something really big. <laughs> Speaking of, <laughs> what are you doing here, pal? There he is now, Detective Gumshoe. Oh. You can't be here right now. Yes, I can. Who says? The cops? Oh, <laughs> the law. <laughs> she dropped into a briefing. If you stay, huh? We got a big problem here today. Hey, what's going on? It's a virus. A virus. Oh, damn. Luckily, we don't know any programmers. A virus. There's a virus ripping up the computer's precinct. Ripping through it, one would say. But I really need to ask you some questions. Hurry up, hurry up. Tenda lenda. Okay, I'm the only one. I'm only gonna say this once, so listen up, pal. Y yes. 
no matter how poor you get, you can never borrow money from a place like that. Yeah. Oh, hey. Oh, hey. If you've got money trouble, <laughs> just go on a diet of instant noodles and hang in there. Oh. Uh, we're not thinking about borrowing money, detective. We want information. Oh, is that all? Well, let's see. Tender lender is considered to be even fishier than the average illegal loan shark. Maybe yeah, the average fish! Yeah! That's a pun. <laughs> More like punch you, am I right? It seems it just ran into some trouble recently. Mm-hmm. I said that right. Mm -hmm. Those guys have been pretty heavy-handed calling in their debts. Really? Don't go poking your nose around in the business, pal. You'll really regret it if you upset that lady. Alright, I got the picture. Hey, wait a minute! You know the lady? What did he just say? That lady? Moonlight lady. Come along with me. Who's this lady he's talking about, Nick? We better find out what the story is of who's that lady! Walking down the road. Women. So what exactly is a computer virus, oh. Detective Gumshoe? Oh, you lucky duck. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> what? <laughs> Look, I just gotta go with the flow, alright, pal? I vibe with that. That's, yeah, okay. And here I thought detectives <laughs> were supposed to be somewhat knowledgeable. What's with that face, pal? You think I know what a virus is? You think you know what a virus is? Yep. Well, uh, Nick, do me. you? A computer virus? Sure. I mean, only in simple terms, of course. Really? Wow, you know everything, Professor Nick. <laughs> yeah, I'm gonna call you Dr. Wright from now on. Dr. Hey, Pink that Mark. sounds pretty cool. Don't you agree, Dr. Wright? Why do I get the feeling they're making fun of me? <laughs> okay, fine. I'm no expert, but I can at least explain the <laughs> basics to the two of you. What's a virus? A virus is a program that gets inside a computer and causes damage. Oh, damage? You mean like it makes the machine go boom and explode? No, the damage is, um, well, it's all internal. So the inside goes boom, right? Imagine all the case data you got stored in your PCs here in the station. A virus could wipe out all of that. That's the kind of damage I'm talking about. Whoa, that's scary. Yeah, and what's even more scary is that viruses are infectious. Ugh. Infectious? Most computers are connected together on a network, right? Nick knowing as much as I do, hell yeah. Yeah. <laughs> a virus can move from one machine to... I feel like he only knows this because he got viruses on his computer and had to, <laughs> and had to know this. Oh no, Nick got ransomware. Yeah, exactly. I feel like he checked an email and he's like, I don't remember ordering that. Clicks, computer explodes. Um... A virus can move from one machine to another over the network, so the virus just keeps spreading faster and faster. Huh, just like a real virus, huh? Mm-hmm. But Nick, why would anyone want to make a program like that? Yeah, it takes ages to type in all that data. Why would you want to destroy it, pal? No, people don't infect their own machines. They send the virus to someone else's. Curious. What? That's horrible. Look at his little face. Oh, I get it. <laughs> it's like he's sneezing on Mr. Godot so he catches a cold. He can't catch a cold. He's too... He's too... He's too uh, get it? <laughs> Shut <it>. up! <laughs> right. Then he wouldn't be able to turn up in court because he'd be too sick. You really shouldn't do stuff like that, Nick. It's wrong. Who? What? Where? When and why did the conversation jump to talking about me? Anyway, that's what a computer virus is. A bad program that causes damage. And all the different viruses have names, right? I kind of feel like I heard the name of this virus but somewhere we... What? The virus we caught somewhere before. Is it MC Bomber? <laughs> the name of the virus, huh? I feel like I've heard of it before, too. Wait, is it? 
Detective Gumshoe, um, about- Oh no, this is incorrect. Oh, wait, wait, wait. Oh, yeah! Hi, 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 hi. This is it, this stupid name, I remember it now. I thought so, here it comes. <laughs> Nick, what, mm. Don't just nod to yourself and keep me in the dark, Nick. What's going on? It's okay, Maya. You don't have to cry about it. Oh my god. The <laughs> uh, name scribbled on the sports paper and written on that CD. That's the name of the virus. MC Bomber. What? Yeah, the virus that infected every computer in the station. It's MC Bomber, pal. Hmm. What Percy just said. If someone calls saying they're from the bank or PayPal and need remote access to your PC to give you a refund, don't. I agree. If you get an yes. email <laughs> from a post office saying, hey, you forgot something or your package or something, there is something there for you, but it doesn't look like it's from the post office, don't. Basically, just don't. If you receive an email ever, oh, stop. Yeah. Turn off your email. L move into the woods. <laughs> Live on berries, <laughs> acorns, yeah. other nuts. Yep. Mm -hmm. What was that wrong? Yep. Oh, birthday son. <laughs> <laughs> yep. Just peace existing. Yes. Just vibing. Aww. Can you give us but any yes. more? Yeah. Be safe. Always call if you're if you're worried. Call the actual number mm. on the actual information. Yes. <laughs> From a yeah, like, trusted If you're source. worried about mm. your bank. Because they sent you something fishy. Hmm. Call your bank. Yeah. And be like, hey, what, what, what's going on here? What's all this then? What's all this then? And be like, what? What's all this then? And then don't hesitate as well to Google the number of the thing you find. Usually, you'll find it on the internet. It's like, this is a scam. So yeah, mm -hmm. you get a missed call from a yes. number. Don't even call it back if you don't recognize it. Just, 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 just give it the little old googly do and see what's up. <laughs> googly do. Give it a good old googly do. Okay, can you give us any more googly boobly boobly? Can you give us any more details, please? We already know about the MC Bomber virus for a while now. A group of criminals issued a series of demands to the head of the honchos of law enforcement. They threatened to release the virus if their demands weren't met. still crying i don't know <laughs> some hot shots from the criminal underworld would be my guess and now the virus has been released huh yeah it's in every public com every computer in every public office in the city interesting everyone's going nuts they're hoping popping around like they're dancing at a carnival i was stuck with criminals and viruses it almost <laughs> feels like we're in a sci-fi movie Apparently, the programmer who made the virus is a real genius or something. Is he also a loser? <laughs> and dead? <laughs> the focus right now is on tracing the root of the virus back on the black market. You mean someone put this virus up for sale? Yeah, because this one's so powerful. Their estimating this price tag was in the millions of dollars, pal. Oh, in the millions? The virus can be worth that much? I better stop that programming. <laughs> Alright. Time to disperse the computer. <laughs> Anything else I need to present to him? His empty lunchbox? Um... Yes. No. Be like also, a programmer Victor... Robin Wait. Hood. Yeah. No, present uh, Violetta's profile. Yeah. Violetta! That's the girl who works over at Tender Linda. You want to stay away from her, okay? I mean it. She does look kind of unforgiving, doesn't she? That should be the least of your worries, pal. Oh, what's that supposed to mean? What could be worse? Her name's Viola Cadaverini. She's the only granddaughter of Bruto Cadaverini. Bruto, oh. Bruto Cad Cadaverini. Do you know who that is, Nick? I don't. <laughs> Never heard of him. 
Bruno Cadaverini is the boss of the Cadaverini family. Frozen, that's so sad. Oh, <laughs> oh, you goof. Libra, relax. Get what? Jail time? Come on. <laughs> the Cadaverinis. That's one scary sounding name. We can't touch them. They're way too powerful for the police. But if you're thinking of taking them on, but you're thinking of taking them on, aren't you? No. Uh, yeah, see? No, I didn't even remember ever saying I was going to. He's laughing at me. Stop! <laughs> Stop it! You're so Don't funny! <laughs> You're so silly! I better get some more info out of Gumshoe about this family. The Cadaverinis! I'm not sure if I really want to get involved in this, but who are the Cadaverinis? Who are they? Scary bunch of people, that's so. <laughs> I just noticed. Ah, you're a cop and you're scared? What's that about? Trust me, it doesn't matter if you're a kid or a cop, these guys are scary. Are you a squid or a kid? <laughs> uh, I am absolutely a squid. They've got some serious clout in the criminal underworld. Wield. We can't touch them. They've got too much moolah. Too much moolah. Moolah, as in... Uh. They pretty much control all the cash in the city's black market. The black market, huh? And that includes Tender Lender, I take it. Sure. No one stands up to Bruno Cadaverini, and I mean no one. Interesting. Nick is jotting his name down. We're gonna no. kill him later. <laughs> Viola's the granddaughter of some mafia boss, then? And then I will control the black market. Yeah. And Nick's like, what's a virus? <laughs> <laughs> okay. Yeah, and everyone knows how much Bruto loves his little girl. She means everything to him. Damn, would be a shame if she goes to jail or something, you know what I mean? Hmm. So, how did she end up at the tender lender? I don't know, pal. But I heard she and the boss of Tendaletta are pretty tight. Aren't they like married? Did she say they were married? They were lovers. Lovers. Mm. Choices were made. That's what it said in the file I read related to Maggie's case. Sounds like a pretty important clue. Ah, I can't believe it. I almost forgot the most important thing. And that is... Oh! You know, the lunch oh. How did everything go? Um... Uh, uh, well, yo, whoa, whoa, would you look at the time, Maya? We gotta go! <laughs> <laughs> uh, what, lunch... <laughs> lunchbox? You remember it. The weenies. Don't tell me... I was trying to lie. I hate weenies! Oh, yeah, those weenies. So, how did my weenies taste when they went down the hatch? Shut up! <laughs> huh? Uh, well, it was, uh, it was delicious. For Maggie! Mm. Yeah, that's what she said? Really? I would lie to him. I don't feel like he could handle the truth. <laughs> don't worry about it, pal. I figured something would happen, so I came prepared. Prepared? What do you mean? I made a jumbo lunchbox. Oh! Do me a favor again, huh, pal? And deliver this? To my belly, for sure. You know what? I feel like jumbo <laughs> means that those are all... You know what weenies are like, probably the like, length of your finger. These are like hot dogs. Yeah. He's this, The scale of yeah. this is wrong. These are all hot dogs. So he's put like... <laughs> how many hot dogs do you think are in that photo? Okay, no one counts it, but have an estimate of how many hot dogs you think are in that photo. I'm gonna say... 18. And... <laughs> um, 14? 17. Okay, let's count them. Oh, is that one sausage or two? It's unclear. 10, 11, 12... 13, 14, 15, 6. Bro, that's so hard to count without. Okay. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15, 16, 17, 18, 19, 
13, 14, 15, 16. There are 16 sausages. How many, who, how many did we <laughs> guess? I didn't remember. <laughs> 18. 18. Yep. Sorry, I said, I said 14. Oh, Sarah's closest. Congratulations, Sarah. Yeah, joke's on you. I also can't joke's count. My you, I, think. I think I counted that wrong, too. It might have been 17. Feel free to fact check me. I can't count. I can't. Someone count the weenies for us. Count them <laughs> weenies. Include Gumshoe, biggest weenie of all. <laughs> it sure is a heavy burden in more ways than one. I can't imagine. I can just imagine Maggie's little eyes sparkling with joy when you bring that to her. Weenies again, Nick? Tell me we don't have to eat all these too. I would. I would <laughs> eat a whole can of weenies and a whole bag of hot dogs. Girthy. I haven't heard yeah. the word girth in so long. What the hell? I haven't. <laughs> I've lost my brand. Oh no, my girths and. Oh no, we haven't girth in a while. Yeah. I think Chris uh, like took complete ownership of that word, and now since I haven't seen Chris in a while, I just haven't said girth. But I've been seeing Gumshoe, and that's girthy. He has girth. I started referring to his as a latitude. <laughs> what did you say about Resident Evil? When does Resident Evil 8 come out? Because that's when May. the girth will be reapplied. <laughs> the girth is rebirthed. <laughs> and he's got a gun! <laughs> girth shoe. Shit. May this year. Yeah. Yeah. Oh my god, that's so soon! Yeah, I know. I know. Oh, I'm so excited. I'm excited too. And that's when I lose my job, so I'll be able to <laughs> watch it! <laughs> that's when your contract ends, is what you're saying. Yes. Girth, girth, it's that, that E, girth. Regirthening when? May. If if the PS4 version works, and if it's um, Miss functional misfunctional if we haven't nice <laughs> i think that's what you don't want yeah i hope it functions you, you might have a ps5 by then who I knows know I, won't. I didn't even realize how bloody expensive they were even if they do become available I yeah no hard to find yeah even if they ever come back in stock yeah. um like the price <laughs> my playstation 4 still works fine thank you gosh i just imagined it exploding to spite me just now the the sony <laughs> The Sony explosive that resides in it. Ugh. This is Sony explosive. <laughs> Gumshoes lunchbox given to Maya. Again. I really can't eat anymore. Yeah, we ate the rice too. That's like... That's a solid lunch. Yeah, that's a meal. Yeah. Okay, let's go back to... I'm gonna go back to... Um, what's her face? We, oh, I mean, she's... If you have zip pen, dead! You no, I'm not going to spend that much oh, money on no. a PS4. Five. <laughs> Whatever. Uh, do you want to know where to go? Nope. Would you like a, a box of weenies? <laughs> um, would you mind taking it? I'm sorry, the data research is super admin, restricted desktop, access password protected. Super admin, restricted desktop, access password protected? What? This is madness! No, Maya, this is Sparta. <laughs> Shit! I, he, he took my joke away before I... That was the joke. I know, I wasn't was expecting it. I keep forgetting that there are like references here. Keep forgetting that everyone in this game is an idiot. Ooh. <sighs> she won't tell us unless we say the right Everyone take word. a drink of water? No. But everyone else, a yes. code word? Hmm. Sesame! Yeah. <laughs> Did it work? If it's not Sesame, then it must be her mother's maiden name. That's how it always works. <laughs> There's no point in having a password if it's always the same thing, Maya. I guess she just doesn't want to talk about this. Maybe we should focus on asking about Glen Elk. What do you say? Do I need to be here? Yes. Oh. Okay, I'll present you with the disc. She has a psych look? Oh! Can I do it? Hey, 
Okay, so how about you tell me what kind of trouble Mr. Elg was in? I'm sorry, sir, but we don't deal with troubleshooting here. Do you deal with trouble... Uh, b poisoning? Huh? Perhaps you'd like to speak to someone in customer service. What's she talking about? I guess I better just take a shot and see where it gets me. Miss Basil, let me ask you something. Did Mr. Elg's troubles have something to do with this? Can I present the calendar? Do you, like, do you want to know? I'm guessing that's a no. <laughs> what is this? A bunch of horse racing tickets, all losing ones. With that many tickets, you could get one dollar at the recycling center. Wow, your voice glitched and it sounded even better, like, for this character. <laughs> you good people are very, very bad. Cashing in on others' misfortune is immoral. You're reminding me of the um, turret voice. Like, not the, the voice. The turrets don't have voices, do they? Do they? In Portal? They have voices. Yeah. Yeah, yeah they freak me out. I think more than GLaDOS, yeah. they make me, like, Walking on. No. I don't hate you. I'm gonna go refill my water bottle. Okay. Don't Enjoy. Okay. The turret sounds so sad and small. They sound like wow, 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 wow. No. <laughs> they want to kill them, but they want to kill me. Yeah, it's, that's the dilemma here. Yeah, that's why they're more of a menace than Glados. <laughs> they hit the moral. Glados has intent. <laughs> yeah. They hit the moral conundrum of, I don't want to kill this thing. <sighs> Is that a whiff of hypocrisy I smell? But what is the relevance of these tickets? The victim, Mr. Glenn Elg. He had a gambling habit, didn't he? I don't think that is a logical conclusion based on the facts. Everyone likes to go to the races from time to time. No, they don't. Yeah, but I'm not. Uh, yeah, but not everyone buys that many tickets. <laughs> anyway, I don't believe that proves anything on its own. You're right, but I'm not through yet. Oh, uh, Mr. Elves gambling wasn't restricted to horse races, was it? The lottery, horse racing, he bought a lot of tickets and lost a lot of times. That's gotta have hurt his wallet pretty bad, don't you think? Oh, she's sweating! Uh, Maybe bad uh, enough to be the cause of some pretty serious trouble, perhaps. She's cute. No. Yeah. Mm, no. You are right. Glenn did have a gambling habit. You good people must not follow his example. Do you understand? Or what? You'll kill us? Trust me, even if I <laughs> wanted to, I don't exactly have the money to buy any. But if you win, there's no problem, is there? I'm getting mixed messages, Basil? <laughs> and Glenn had a winning ticket, didn't he? For half a million dollars. I just... I just smelt what Shanks did wrote, you know? Ugh. <laughs> that, was, ugh. that was a smell image, and my nose <laughs> saw it, you know? Yeah, get it out of your system, sir. <laughs> yeah, that's... Sarah's little dainty sneezes compared to my ripper, sne my ripper ass sneezes, was what I was about to call it. <laughs> uh, what is that? A sneeze for fairies? Jeez. Okay. With love, I say. Yeah, but... I'm a fairy. I know. <laughs> yeah, but... It, 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 it's hard to imagine how he could have been in trouble then, isn't it? <laughs> I agree, Frozen. <sighs> it's true that Mr. Elg won half a million dollars in the end. But what was- that was his first stroke of good luck. He was in deep trouble before that. Deep trouble? 
What do you mean? You know what I mean. Mr. Elg's real problem was with someone or something more terrifying and ferocious. And voracious. And... The fattest titties. What? What? Oh, I see. <laughs> I Yeah, I, I'm guessing I'm presenting his profile. Oh, yeah. yeah. Sorry, I thought that was obvious. Nah. <laughs> Not if you're a dumbass. All right. There are no dumbasses here. Oh, cute. Except for this guy, Furio. Furio Tigre, the boss of a loan office called the Tender Lender. Tender. Tender Lender. People with businesses should think harder before naming their offices. I think it's a lot better than blue screen. Like, you're one to talk. See? Well, what do you think? Our firm is doing very well at the moment. I don't doubt that. I don't think we need to borrow money. No, no, no. I mean about Mr. Elg. You think Glenn had something to do with this furrier, Furio Tigre? Yes. I'm sorry, I don't know of any connection between the two of them. Really? Because I've got proof that Mr. Elg and the Tiger knew each other. Apparently. Did I press that? Apparently. Or did the game press that? I think the game pressed that. Okay, yeah, they knew each other. Hold on. The disc would probably prove it. <laughs> but, no. Would it? I don't, um, let me think! Okay. And the, the, on December 3rd, the day of the incident, there is a note saying, meet with the tiger. Furio Tigre, aka the tiger, is the bone of a lone- Whoa. Wow. Is the boss- Whoa. Whoa. <laughs> is the boss of a loan no, office called the Tender Lender. I fucking hate Freud. Me and all my homies hate Freud. Horny ass. <laughs> God. True. Psychosexual Freud. ass. Relax, Freud. Sometimes things are easier than you fucking stupid ass, glitchy ass. Anyway. Fuck off, Sigmund, if that is your real name. You didn't. <laughs> Sounds fake. Sounds. <laughs> what is that? Sigmund? <laughs> 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 okay, anyway. Didn't bring up my feelings about Freud. <laughs> this is who Mr. Elgman. When I say bone, I mean I want him to cease. <laughs> that is the only <laughs> channeling here. Okay. This is who Mr. Elg met- uh, sorry, this is who Mr. Elg met with on the day of his murder. And the only thing a loan shark would talk with him about should be his debt. No. Uh. It's true that Glenn had racked up quite a bit of debt from his gambling habit. Sigma ball. <laughs> I want to play Zero Escape <laughs> as well one day. <laughs> I know of a Sigma there. Also, I know about his weenies. Anyway. <laughs> it's about $100,000, I think. 100000 buckaroos? Ouch. But I heard he won the lottery, so he should have been in the clear. Oh, a sugar cube earring when she has tea. She just like... <laughs> Shame Maggie could... So handy. Yeah. More like eerie. <laughs> Shame Maggie couldn't get a bit of that good luck. Okay. So the guy got lucky and won the lottery. But what if he hadn't won, huh? What was his plan then? Well, this isn't easy to say, but... He said he would use his talents to repay the money. His talents. I suspect he was talking about programming. What computer program is... Nick, we've been through... Worth $100,000. Perhaps you good people should leave so I can get back to my work. So close to cracking up! The program in question, was it by any chance? This? The attorney's badge. <laughs> was it by any chance this? And Nick's like rifling around in his um. Okay. <laughs> Take that. Heh. <laughs> well, this is it. In it. 
This is the virus that's infecting computers worldwide as we speak. MC Bomber. Ba -na -na -na. No. <laughs> this lunchbox. Unlock successful Woo Glen Swabbles. Glenn's head had more processing power than my computer. Oh. But it had been infected with a gambling virus. Oh. That's one way to put it. Glenn was in too deep. You mean he was in debt? Yes, $100,000 in debt. Not any easy amount to repay. So, he said he was taking on some extra work. Something a bit risky. Risky? risky. How? Maybe he was going to become a waitress at Tribune. <laughs> Where do you come up with these ideas? Oh, Risky extra work. So it's safe to say that Mr. Elg was the creator of this virus, huh? The MC Bomber virus? Yes. It was a work of genius, in a bad sort of way, of course, but still genius. <laughs> Something like that would probably fetch several million dollars on the black market. Inconceivable! Gumshoe was right for a change! Oh. Uh. This date, 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 December 3rd, <laughs> that is marked on his calendar. Oh, shit. <laughs> that was his deadline for repaying his debts. A computer virus made by Glenn Elk potentially worth millions of dollars! Millions of dollars? I guess we won't be needing those horse racing tickets anymore. He eats them. <laughs> huh? Thrown back on the floor? <laughs> Use the trash can, Nick! Are we good to go? Yep. Nice. Mr. Armstrong, you're very curioso, my man. What's your deal? Let's go to the detention center. No, I guess we won't go to the detention center. I guess we will go to the somewhere else. I am in it. Who am I so speaking, seeing? Violetta. Right. Oh, cute. That's good music. Yeah. I am lost. No wait, I know where to go. Tribune, and then I just didn't know how to get there. <laughs> Every day. <laughs> how do I manage to get lost in a yeah, game like this? I, huh? I vibe with that. Well, I know where to go. I just don't know how to get there. <laughs> exactly. <laughs> All right, let's talk with ya. Let's get some good, good conversation. Okay, we won't make it to the trial today. <gasps> Maybe. Wow, that's a lot of locks. Well, it's a lot of chains. Chain, chain, chain. Chain of lies. You said that bandage around your head was from an operation? You also said you suffered from a fatal injury to the head, correct? Yes, the operation was very difficult, apparently. Now, by fatal injury, you mean you were hurt very badly somehow, right? On a scooter accident, maybe? <laughs> did the injury in question have something to do with this? Oh, wait, maybe I'm right. <laughs> okay, I think I'm correct. <laughs> no, I'm wrong. Well? Donuts. Why is it smashed then? He just shit at driving? Okay. <laughs> huh? I baked them myself. Homemade donuts. Have one. Uh, what's inside? Jam and... I'm sorry, but I didn't quite catch that. 
Um, thanks, but no thanks. I think I'll pass away. I guess that was a flop. <laughs> okay! Well, what happened to this woman? For her to have such a huge bandage around her head, there must be some piece of evidence that prompted her to tell me what happened. Now, by fatal injury, you mean you were hurt very badly somehow, right? Okay, let's look at my evidence again. Uh... Lobster. The injury in question has something to do with this. Alright, let's have a look-see. Let's reacquaint myself. Let's reacquaint. News. Use your big brain. I am. I'm accessing the mainframe. <laughs> your rock hard brain. Oh my gosh. Ah! Hmm. I actually don't know. Hold on. <laughs> wait, 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 wait. <sighs> what's my bra What's my thinking there? song? Bum, bum, bum. Oh, yeah. Bum, bum, bum. <laughs> Hey! <laughs> That's what happened. This is actually making me think less somehow. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. <laughs> the other night I started singing bum 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 and I just heard my sister's fiance yell from upstairs, No! Because <laughs> I got stuck in his head again. <laughs> <laughs> I've had the, for some reason, I've had the lime in the coconut song. <laughs> There's the lime in the coconut. Don't wanna it up in my head. For no reason. Oh. <laughs> like, get out. You know what's crazy? I had the Skyward Sword Loftwing song stuck in my head for like three weeks, and then Skyward Sword got announced. I think I made it happen. <laughs> you were just, yeah, you are just, you were vision boarding it in your brain. Right? I manifested. Manifesting. That's it. Yeah. Nice. Photo of this man has some good dough. Yeah. The universe will provide. Right? Uh, okay, Sarah, do I have evidence for this? Yep, you've got everything you need. Which page is it on? It is on this page. Oh! <laughs> um, was she hit by a horse? No, apparently not. Every time you make a mistake, the donuts inch closer to your face. <laughs> uh, uh, uh. Oh! Car repair! I get it. I jumped to scooter ac accident, but apparently not. I have here a car repair bill. From this, it seems pretty obvious that this car was involved in an accident. Let me see that. Mm, this bill is made out to an cadaverinis. Yes, it is. I don't think I ever introduced myself. Tell me, what do the cadaverinis have to do with me? Something tells me she's not about to say hi and introduce herself. All right, then. Your relationship with the cadaverinis is very strong, and this is why. I know exactly who you are, Viola Cadaverini. Oh my god, he's being so brazen! Nick! Nick, you could die. You sustain. <laughs> you can hear my chair breaking in the background, can't you? <laughs> yeah, it's just falling apart. No, I have the arm of it currently just wrapped around my leg so I can lean on it by leaning on my leg. You know what I mean? That's, that's so much. It's pretty comfy. I find a way to make do. <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Adapt. Survive. Exactly. You sustained that injury in a traffic accident, didn't you? Four months. It ah. happened about four months ago. You good? Yeah. I was driving in one of our family's cars when someone pulled out in front of me. Oh, damn! Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, he was involved in the accident, but just not how I expected. Okay. Damn. It was a motorbike, or something like that. I don't remember it much. Anyway, I swerved to try and avoid it, but... Who's that? That's Phoenix Wright, obviously. Ace Attorney Phoenix Wright. <laughs> I took a blow to the head. A bad one. Yeah, I can imagine. Car so what happened to, to the person on the you bike? Huh? Oh. 
I'm guessing they didn't get away with injuring V via Viola Cadaverini, right? I don't know what happened to them. <laughs> That's more like to. <laughs> <laughs> um. They ran away, so I heard. Shanks is be right back. Why do I feel like Shanks is about to drop off a chair at my house? Ran <laughs> 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 away. Crashing through your window. <laughs> Bring a cow. If they'd stayed, I'd have. <laughs> hmm. Is it possible? Could the person who committed the hit and run have been? Uh... It was this man, wasn't it? He was the cause of your accident. Hmm. Oh. It wasn't Don Tigre. I refuse to believe it. We collided the motorbike and my car. But Don Tigre isn't injured at all, is he? It was the tiger who caused Viola to crash. I can feel it in my weenies. <laughs> Plus, one of her locks just <laughs> broke, so she must suspect it was him too. I'm sorry, Miss Cadaverini. But I have proof that the tiger was involved in a traffic accident on his bike. Now I can present the bike. Maybe. Yes. It's not exactly a motorbike, but Mr. Tigre, Tigre rides around on a scooter, doesn't he? And you'll notice that the front wheel guard is badly damaged. Miss Cadaverini! You know the truth, don't you? I feel like she's gonna cry. <laughs> This repair bill was played by pl played pl paid by Furio Tigre. The Cadaverinis have known for ages who caused the accident, haven't they? Hmm. I actually assumed she was in the wrong, but yeah, he must have come like blitzing out of nowhere, douchebag that he seems. <laughs> you run a red light. Yeah. It's possible, perhaps. Somewhere inside me, I know that may be true. I knew it. But... But! Don Tigre still saved my life. Huh? The operation was very complicated. It was very expensive. How much are we talking? Very, very, very expensive. She seems kind of hesitant about giving me an actual figure. I should back off, maybe because it's evidence! Or, well, I don't know. <laughs> well, anyway, it was a tiger who paid for it, right? You trying to tell me that your mob boss father couldn't pay for it? I'm confused. After I recovered, Don Tigre told me. He said he'd paid for the operation because he cared about me. <laughs> okay. I believe him. <laughs> He's a guy! <laughs> I'm kidding. Uh, <laughs> really? But do you honestly believe that to be true? Considering he just, uh, you know, imitated me in court and seems to lie for fun. Do you think? Do you think? Do you, do you think? <laughs> there you go. <laughs> Thanks for the analysis, Trent. Do you want to <laughs> know what I think? I think that you're a deeply closeted lesbian. <laughs> <Okay. laughs> I think the reason he paid for the operation wasn't because of you. But someone else. <laughs> Where did shrimp? Oh, I, I just looked down and I saw shrimp say die, and I was like, "What?" <laughs> okay, that's a lie. He just didn't want to. What did I do? He didn't want a doe, a deer, a female deer. Yeah, I'm getting the impression. But someone else. He because wait, I think the reason he paid for the operation wasn't for you, but someone else. Well, I'm going to assume himself, but. Can I? No? Okay, good. Oh! Whoa, whoa, sorry. I know this might come from a sh shop to you, but... Sorry? Hi, Snoop. <laughs> I'm not going to be able to make those right now, so... <laughs> but congratulations on the many, many bits. Channel okay. points. It's been so cold lately. Yeah, just hearing your voice sends shivers down my spine. Please try it on. Oops. Did she kill me? What was it oops for? 
<laughs> with a knife ah. in his stomach. <laughs> uh, I have 125k channel points. Oh, wow. So. Flexing on him. I don't even know what channel points are. So. Uh, don't worry, I'm going to set stuff up. Nice. Did you miss it? I don't. Did, did you miss me? <laughs> I'm winning, missing a few pins. I must have left them in the coat. Uh, on second thought, I'm fine. Thanks, Roasty Toasty. That's me. <laughs> so that he paid because he cared about me. I believe him. Do you believe it to be true? Do you want to know what I think? Uh, wait, Bruto? Yeah. Alright, that's how that was going to interpret it. Well, I was th thinking like he did it for himself. Because he wants to stay alive. <laughs> I'm not wrong. He doesn't want to die. <laughs> yeah. I mean, I think that's a valid, a valid interpretation. Yes. Oh, your mom played victory piano music. <laughs> Alright, perhaps I shouldn't be yes. saying this, but your grandfather, Bruto Cadaverini, controls a lot of dubious cash, right? And you are his beloved pride and joy. Sure, I don't know exactly how much the operation cost, but... If you weren't the granddaughter of Mr. Cadaverini, do you believe Mr. Tigre would have paid the money? <gasps> oh. One million dollars. Ooh, that's a lot of dollars. And also very suspicious. That's a lot of zeros. That is a lot of zeros. What are you, Nick's bank account? Because that's all zeros. Jace. <laughs> Four months ago, I was in a traffic accident. That's why I needed the operation. When I woke up, they told me it was nothing serious. A simple procedure. Oh, really? Well, I guess if she recovered in four months, it couldn't have been too big. They said the operation cost one million dollars. A million bucks! You're doing it again, Maya. <laughs> My grandfather ordered Don Tigre to pay one million dollars oh. in compensation. Compensation, huh? Gumshoe and Nick shake hands on broke ass. <laughs> <laughs> Nick has bought one suit in his entire life. <laughs> it's underworld lingo for paying money Nick to settle his score. His oh, you reckon he's renting it? I mean, feel like he wears it so often. Like Edgeworth yeah. eventually bought him his Please. suit. <laughs> Please, I'm begging you. I cannot be seen in court if you do not own a suit. Congrats on Yoshi voice. Yoshi's cool. Basically, Peyo will get into some serious trouble. A million bucks? It has to be related to our poisoning case somehow. Compensation! I wanted to believe him. I wanted to trust what Don Tigre said. He said it had nothing to do with my grandfather being Bruto Cadavari Cadav Cadaverini. <laughs> She's getting her own that, theme that song. word! <laughs> yeah, thanks, Mom. Yeah, I can't say that word, even though you know it's it cadaver is. in it. <laughs> Cadaverini. <laughs> uh, I wanted to believe he helped me because he cared about me, not about my grandfather. Oh shit! Oh no! Wait! Ah! <laughs> wait! 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 That wasn't really true. Uh oh. Yeah, she's actually crying. Wow! I'm so sorry. What he did to get that money was... it was evil. Snoopy, relax, yeah? <laughs> if you want to know the story, watch the VOD! I'm not gonna stop the whole stream to explain the story. Oh, please stop spamming the chat, yeah? <laughs> okay. I helped him. You helped him? In what way? Here, take these. What are these? Medical papers? I'm Bruto Cadaverini's granddaughter. He had to pay compensation. He was made an offer. He simply couldn't refuse. Oh dear! A one 
million dollar bill for a cranial surgery. Payment was due last year. Oh, this debt has just been handed around, it seems. <laughs> wow, I feel so bad for Viola. It's inexcusable. Huh? Oh, she crying. There are two things that I consider I inexcusable. Cry. Poisoning and betrayal. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, Nick is channeling. Oh dear. He oh did. no, he's hurt. Uh -oh. <gasps> Nick has feelings and they are he's... prolonged. Oh dear. <laughs> he's got experiences. He ate a poison necklace once. He ate a poison necklace once. Oh dear. Only a coward would hurt people using either of these tactics. <laughs> My golden deer a bit. Sorry, what? I think he might be projecting just a little Maybe bit. Maybe a little. We have some personal feelings involved. Is everything alright, Nick? We should get going. Right after we finish our espresso. <laughs> They're poison! Oh. <laughs> yeah. I won't need to convince Viola of anything else, so I guess I can get rid of this. Repair bill thrown in the trash. You could just keep it anyway, my dude. All right. Wait. Nah. Rom, do you need to go? Is, or could we hit to the... Uh... We, we can try and get to the trial, I don't mind. Okay. Oh, you again, you suspicious chunky man. I have been waiting for you to return. Mr. Armstrong! Ah, good timing. I was just hoping to find you here. We'd like to ask you a few questions. Well, he hasn't got anything to say to you fellas. <laughs> Are they dating? <laughs> Dear God. <laughs> ah! It's Dinny up! Wow, he, he said RAR. <laughs> RAR XD. <laughs> Where'd she go? It's like ah! he, he did the Pokemon roll and then she like exited the arena. <laughs> Come out from under the table already, Maya. S slides out. Put okay, your tongue back in. Over. What? <laughs> you wanna play games with me? I don't recommend that the medical papers now. Uh oh, I think he wants Viola Cadaverini's papers back. You mean, this? The million dollar Please. medical papers? You're supposed to lie! <laughs> Miss Cadaverini trusted you. Oh my god, Nick is heading into the moral conundrum! That's why she said uh -oh. that she helped you. He mad. <gasps> Forget about it. That girl's dumber than an eggplant. Just wanna know what's sad? I'll tell you what's sad. And it ain't only her face. She thinks she got power because she Brodo's little girl. Now that's sad. <laughs> I can't let you have these papers. Tomorrow in court. Nick, why did you... These are the papers. You can't have them. <laughs> Nick, run. He can easily... Wait, no. I think Nick could stab him a little. Yeah, Nick can hold his these own. These papers I right reckon. here yeah. in my hand. Within arm's reach. Yeah. You can't have them. <laughs> Puts them in his flimsy little pocket. Tomorrow in court. I'm going to expose what you did to get the one million you used to pay this off. He just thumped the table. Ugh. Got three mm -hmm. tables to choose from, or two? He thumped all of them. Like crazy mm -hmm. as well. <laughs> oh, shit. Oh, okay. I don't care if you want to give it to me or not. Sure. There's two of us here. You got that? Two. <laughs> Country boy. <laughs> Mr. Armstrong? Forgive me, Nezale. I cannot argue with you. Uh, oh, I thought he just knocked me out. <laughs> oh, he did. Oh, that yeah. really hurt. Just a little bit. Is that all he's got? I'll be taking those papers now. <laughs> oh, I'm strong. Get the light. No, 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 no. Wait, Nick. Don't take it too hard. Phoenix, right? I can, I can leave. That was so stupid. I shouldn't have let my guard down. You got mad. He got, oh, you think? He got mad and got <laughs> silly. Those medical papers were vital. Ever. 
dance. Nick's unconscious? Oh dear. Oh! Mm. Hold it, pal. Yeah! Oh! My chair just broke again. <laughs> Detective <laughs> Gumshoe? Gumshoe? Oh, Detective. Just think you gotta stop me, copper. Beat it! Uh, use that. Whoa. Come on, Gumshoe. Keep it together. You guys, get out of here. Lead us guy to me. <laughs> oh my god, it's a bear fight. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Who would win in a bear versus a tiger, huh? That's what's happening here. <laughs> Man versus wild. But oh no, Shakespeare, your oat milk. Oh no. Frozen oat milk? That sounds like a... Good... Go, pal. And take this. Like a popsicle. If you get hurt, who's gonna look after Maggie, huh? Thanks. Thanks for caring. All right. Thanks, Gumshoe. <laughs> Wait, Nick, don't leave me behind. Yeah, no. You won't. She just comes, like, skittering out from under the table. Yeah. <laughs> I'll, even, I'll get even with that guy tomorrow. In court! Tender Lender is going down! Fun. Nick has, like, big-time feelings about this. It's a big-time rush. Yeah, has some Nick. feelings. Got some emotion. Yeah. He's got some, like, you know what I mean? Nick sort of enters a case, like, with a moral angle. <laughs> he's, yeah. He's cut, bro. Yeah. He's, he's hurt. <laughs> he's like that. Yeah. <laughs> Oh, he also uh, got punched in the face, so he's he also hurt in that regard. I think we're cutting it here, yeah? We've already gone a little bit over time. Yes, I need to have lunch. Eat. Yes, <laughs> and I need to have breakfast. <laughs> oh, Shank doesn't have a microwave? God damn. But yeah, okay. Yeah. Get light a candle. <laughs> <laughs> did I save the game just then? Yes. Okay. Uh, I did it? I believe I did. I think yeah. so. Okay. All right, that's fun. I'm excited. For, I'm so excited for this trial. Um, yes, tomorrow we get to go into the trial. Yes, get to see Godot. Indeed. You Thanks. do. <laughs> Thanks for showing up. Um, what is it? Yeah. Oh my God, we're gonna see Godot soon. Anyway, <laughs> thanks for tuning in. <laughs> have fun, everybody. So we will have a twilight run. No, I haven't finished The Last of Us 2. Snoop, please stop spamming. <laughs> okay. Um, so. Oh, yeah, that's true. And yeah, actually, um, yeah, nowhere near. Bro. Yeah, did you only, like, do two streams of it? Yeah. Okay. But yeah, thank you. And we shall peace out. Uh, I don't think I have anything else to say. I'm just really excited. <laughs> Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, I'm just like blah, blah, blah. <sighs> Okay. He's just through those doors. I thought everyone did. <laughs> but yes, okay. Yes, stream's over. Okay. Stream. Peace out. All the best. All the rest. See you. Did I have anything else to say? Bye. Thank you. Thank you too. Thank you everyone for watching and thank you too for voicing. And happy birthday from Australia, Rami. Yes. Happy thank happy you. Australian birthday, Rom. <laughs> And we'll, we'll see you again, maybe, on Rom's actual Canadian birthday. <laughs> yes. Yes. All right. Ideally. Yes. Okay. We may watch Cats. <laughs> okay. All right. Yes! <laughs> Harmonize with me! We'll see. Bye! Bye! Bye.